Imagine you're walking through a dense prehistoric forest. The air is thick. The trees whisper. Suddenly, dead silence. Then, rustling. One shadow becomes two. Then five. And before you can even run, it's too late. You're surrounded. But not by lions or wolves. By something far older. Smarter. Deadlier. This isn't a lone predator. It's a coordinated strike team. And leading the charge? Deinonychus. The dinosaur that hunted like a wolf and killed like a raptor. Welcome to Extinct Realms, where prehistoric legends come alive. Hit subscribe and step into the wild. Stay with us because what you're about to learn will change everything you thought you knew about dinosaurs. For years when people thought of dinosaurs, one image dominated their minds. A giant, slow, lumbering beast. Or maybe a massive predator like the T-Rex, hunting alone, ruling the land in isolation. The classic Lone Hunter. But Deinonychus shattered that idea. This was no solitary killer. Even its name, Deinonychus, meaning terrible claw, hints at something more terrifying than a lone predator. It was about precision, teamwork, and deadly coordination. Deinonychus stood about 10 feet long, weighed roughly 160 to 200 pounds, and could run at 30 to 40 miles per hour. That's faster than a professional athlete. And it wasn't just fast. It had razor-sharp curved claws on each foot. One in particular like a sickle built to slash and tear through flesh. Now imagine not one, but five or six of them, moving as one unit. Eyes locked on the same target, surrounding it, cutting off escape and striking in perfect sync. It wasn't just a dinosaur, it was a wolf pack with talons. A group of apex hunters that used intelligence and coordination to bring down prey many times larger than themselves. And this changes everything we thought we knew. Because if Deinonychus hunted in packs, then it wasn't just dangerous, it was unstoppable. In the early 1960s, a young paleontologist named John H. Ostrom was digging through the badlands of Montana when he stumbled onto something that would rewrite history. The fossilized bones of a strange predator. It wasn't massive like a T-Rex, but it had a stiff tail for balance, powerful legs, and that now iconic curved claw. The bones were unlike anything seen before. He named it Deinonychus antiropus. But here's where things got interesting. The bones weren't just lying around randomly. They were clustered together, multiple individuals, in one spot, alongside the fossilized remains of a much larger herbivore. Could it be? These predators hunted together. This idea shocked the scientific world, because up until then, dinosaurs were thought to be cold-blooded, slow, and not very smart. But Ostrom's discovery challenged all of that. Deinonychus had a large brain for its size, forward-facing eyes for depth perception, and signs of agility and speed. Traits we now associate with birds of prey, not lizards. In fact, Ostrom's work would later lead to one of the boldest theories in paleontology that birds evolved from dinosaurs, and that Deinonychus was one of the clearest links in that chain. This was no slow-moving monster. This was an intelligent, dynamic, and possibly even feathered killer that hunted in packs and thought like a modern bird of prey. Deinonychus wasn't just a new dinosaur. It was the beginning of a new era of discovery. After Ostrom's discovery, a bold image emerged in popular science. Deinonychus and its cousin Velociraptor were no longer lone predators. They were now seen as coordinated pack hunters like wolves. But is that true? The idea came largely from the way multiple Deinonychus fossils were found near the bones of a larger prey animal, Tenontosaurus. It looked like a group of raptors had ganged up to take down a much bigger target. However, some paleontologists today are skeptical. They argue, what if those Deinonychus weren't hunting together? but simply drawn to the same carcass, maybe days apart? After all, modern Komodo dragons do this, gathering at a kill but not working as a team. They fight, scavenge, and even cannibalize each other. Plus, there's no solid evidence of complex communication or strategy in raptors like there is in wolves or lions. Still, that doesn't mean raptors were dumb. Deinonychus had a relatively large brain, keen senses, and speed. Even if they didn't form true packs, they may have used opportunistic group behavior, attacking prey when it benefited them, even if it wasn't a coordinated plan. So, were raptors tactical pack hunters? 
Maybe not exactly how movies show it, but they were far more intelligent and adaptable than we once believed. The truth lies somewhere between fact and fiction. Deinonychus wasn't just fast or fierce, it was surgically efficient. Let's start with that iconic sickle-shaped claw on each foot. This wasn't just for slashing. Some scientists believe it was used to pin prey down, holding it still while the raptor tore it apart with its jaws and forelimbs. And speaking of jaws, Deinonychus didn't have the bone-crushing bite of a T-Rex. But what it did have was sharp, blade-like teeth designed to rip and tear flesh quickly. Perfect for fast, brutal kills. Its long arms and grasping hands were another deadly feature. Unlike most reptiles, Deinonychus could actually grip its prey, almost like a bird of prey locking onto a rabbit. Combine that with keen eyesight, and you've got a predator that didn't just charge in blindly, it struck with precision. Everything about its body, lightweight bones, long tail for balance, flexible neck, points to a creature that was built for speed, balance, and lethal accuracy. This wasn't a mindless monster. It was a calculated killer, fine-tuned by evolution to dominate its environment. Still think dinosaurs are just prehistoric lizards? Deinonychus proves they were something far more terrifying and far more intelligent. If this blew your mind, just imagine what's coming next. Hit that like button if you're fascinated by ancient predators. Subscribe now and join a growing community of dino enthusiasts, uncovering the most incredible creatures that ever lived. Even though Deinonychus lived over 100 million years ago, it has left a lasting footprint on modern culture. In fact, most people don't even realize they're seeing Deinonychus, not Velociraptor, when they watch Hollywood blockbusters. Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park introduced the world to intelligent, agile, terrifying raptors. But here's the twist. Those movie raptors were actually based on Deinonychus, not the much smaller Velociraptor. The real Velociraptor was the size of a turkey. It was Deinonychus, larger, stronger, and more fearsome, that inspired the cinematic killers. Because of this, Deinonychus has become the face of the smart pack-hunting dinosaur. From video games to documentaries, it shows up as the sleek, cunning predator that stalks in packs and strikes with precision. Its name may not be as famous as T-Rex, but in terms of cultural impact, Deinonychus rewrote how we see dinosaurs, not as dumb brutes, but as intelligent, social, even strategic hunters. What made Deinonychus such a deadly predator wasn't just its claws, it was the engineering of its entire body. Paleontologists believe this dinosaur could run up to 30 miles per hour, thanks to its long legs and lightweight bird-like bones. Its build was made for speed and agility. Its tail was stiffened by bony rods acting like a counterbalance to help it make sharp turns while chasing prey. This meant it wasn't just fast, it was maneuverable too. In a dense forest or rocky terrain, that agility gave it the upper hand. Then there's its famous weapon, the sickle-shaped claw on each foot. Scientists suggest it wasn't just for slashing. It could grip and pin prey down, acting like a prehistoric grappling hook. Imagine being a small herbivore and suddenly a lightning-fast predator jumps, grabs you with its clawed foot, and knocks you to the ground before you can even blink. But perhaps even more fascinating is what recent studies suggest about its muscles. Fossil reconstructions show strong attachment points for powerful leg and arm muscles. This implies Deinonychus was built not only for pursuit, but also for powerful leaps and wrestling prey to the ground, like a prehistoric panther. It's the ultimate what-if question. Could a modern human actually survive an encounter with Deinonychus? Let's be clear, it wouldn't be easy. Standing over 10 feet long with razor-sharp claws, a strong bite, and incredible speed, Deinonychus would have all the physical advantages. One wrong move and you'd be on the ground with a claw through your chest. But humans have one advantage, intelligence. With enough warning, a human could possibly use strategy, climb a tree, use tools, or set traps. Unlike in the movies, Deinonychus didn't have bulletproof skin or magical intelligence. It was a real animal with strengths and weaknesses. If it were alone, a smart, prepared human might have a chance to escape or even fight back with the right weapons. Still, let's not sugarcoat it. If you were unarmed and caught off guard, you'd be dinner. So what makes Deinonychus truly unforgettable? It wasn't the biggest or the fastest, but its deadly combination of speed, intelligence, and precision 
made it one of the most fearsome predators of its time and a lasting icon of prehistoric power. From inspiring movie monsters to reshaping what we know about raptor behavior, Deinonychus left a mark far bigger than its fossil size. And if you've made it this far into the prehistoric world with us, you're clearly one of the curious ones. So here's your challenge. Smash that like button like a raptor slashing with its deadly claw. Hit subscribe so you don't miss our next dinosaur deep dive and join the pack as we continue uncovering the beast that once ruled Earth. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay curious, stay wild.